Morning everyone, I'm Jason from the uh, drive team. I sort of head up the drive team for Subaru. What I've got here is a set of demonstration rollers. We get a lot of questions from people. How does the four wheel drive system work? What's it like in the winter? Is it just for enhanced performance on wet tracks or does it help us in the snow and things like that? So what I've actually done is built a set of rollers to uh, emulate a slippery surface. So these rollers are all on precision bearings. There's no locking mechanism. They're all free to rotate. So in effect, that is like black ice and more. I've got the two rear wheels on these seven roller beds, which gives us like a long flat surface as near as we can. But the front wheel this side is in a, a wider set of rollers to create a resistance so that we can't just push the car along and it come off easily. So it's a bit like uphill, I suppose. The other side front wheel is on the tarmac and that wheel is the only wheel in effect with any grip. What we're going to demonstrate is how the four-wheel drive system works in bad weather conditions in this uh, demonstration. Now what Subaru have done, this is applicable to all Subarus, they use the brake system to get the uh, resistance on the wheels that have got no grip so that then the power hasn't got that exit as an easy route because the brake's on. It will go out the one that's not turning and drive the car clear. Now you don't need to do anything with the brakes, it does it automatically and it does it in like a pulsing fashion. When it operates you can hear it a little bit in the car, you'll probably notice a difference in noise because the tyre tread running on the rollers makes a noise and you'll probably hear it making a little bit of different noise as it's changing speed. But in effect what will happen is Ken tries to drive away, the wheels will spin for a while and then the brakes will start to come onto the uh, wheels that are spinning and it should then drive away. Now on an STI you've got three settings for your traction control and stability system which is unique to the STI. You've got your standard mode when you start the car, the light goes out and it's all active and looking after you basically. So that will allow a little bit of braking if it's slippery on the wheels but it'll also not let the revs go too high on the engine so you can't sort of spin the car through a corner. A momentary press on the button will bring a green light on. That disables the restricted engine side so you can still rev it but it also enhances the braking effect. So in the snow, the green light is really good because it'll put more brake pressure on the wheels. If you've got a, a very slippery surface with a little bit of grip here, a bit there, the brake system will cut in and help you get clear. On the STI alone, again, you can switch it fully off, hold it down and it'll go yellow. On the other Subarus, you can switch the system off, but it still leaves the brake traction on. On the STI, it completely switches everything off so if you want to take it out and race it or on track days, for example, where you're you know, competing, you can switch everything off and not have interference from it. Uh, you're not necessarily trying to get out of a muddy field in that instance, so you don't need the brake traction control. So we're going to try this on the green mode. And what you'll see is the wheels will spin up and then it will drive clear. We like to see a little bit of spin before it happens, otherwise you, it looks like the, wheels are, the rollers are fixed. OK, Kent. There you go. So you see it just lift itself out, all by that left front wheel. 